Morning, North. Okay, so I did so well on the last set of potatoes. She brought me out some more. I'm working. All right, we've got more on the forecast and more on a Thanksgiving feast for women and children coming up. Plus, the man found guilty of homicide by abuse talks for the first time. We tell you hear what he says in his jailhouse interview. And we're saving you money this week on Good Morning Northwest. Today is all about saving money on meat. Coming up, tricks from the trade from a local meat cutter. And the models that you see on magazine covers are often edited to look better with computer programs like Photoshop. But you might be surprised just how far that editing goes. What we found out about how one Victoria's Secret model really looks. That's straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest HD. Live from the KXLY 4 HD Broadcast Center in downtown Spokane, you're waking up with Good Morning Northwest HD. Good morning, Northwest. Hope your Tuesday's off to a great start. I'm Mike Gonzalez. And I'm Kalai Chot. Good morning. Mark Peterson has a look at your HD forecast for today. He's up at North Monroe. Oh. The Spokane father convicted of abusing his daughter to death says he is also a victim. Jonathan Lytle spoke with KXY4 in jail Monday. KXY4's Cherson Ramsing is here with that interview. Uh, pretty shocking stuff that he said. Definitely. And earlier this year. Cherson, thanks so much. Appreciate that. It is 6.04 on Good Morning Northwest. Let's check the traffic with Officer Teresa. Are we off to a better start than yesterday? We are, fortunately, not a ton of crashes. Officer, thanks so much. And to know before you go, you could always jump on our website. It's KXLY.com. Go to our traffic and travel menu and click on iView. Lone call on the last play of Sunday's game between San Diego and the Pittsburgh Steelers didn't change the outcome of the game, but it did affect thousands of gamblers. Check out this play. The Steelers' safety appears to recover a fumble and take it in for a touchdown. That score would have covered the point spread, and those betting on the Steelers, they would have won. Well, the refs reversed the call, and although the Steelers still won the game, they did not cover the spread, so anyone betting on them actually lost, and it's estimated about $10 million was wagered legally in Nevada on that game. So could you imagine? No! That's why I do not gamble. Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban says he has never engaged in insider trading. The Securities and Exchange Commission filed a civil suit against Cuban yesterday. They allege Cuban instructed his broker to dump 600,000 shares of stock that went public the next day. The move saved Cuban $750,000. He says this case has absolutely zero merit. This week, we're working to save you money, and with the downturn of the economy, you may find yourself skipping out and opting for staying home cooking. If you're doing this, you're part of the trend. KXLY 4's Colleen O'Brien and Wally Eggers of Eggers Better Meats and Seafood joins us. And those, that meat looks so good. I'm a meat eater. My <laughs> mouth is watering. Thanks, yeah, they Colleen. look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it. As our week-long look at saving you money continues with the diva of discount. We're going to have her on at 5. She is the Spokane woman who saves, I mean, she saves so much money if you saw her uh, her story, I think it was about a month ago, she saved like a gajillion dollars. She gets all these coupons, so you do not want to miss her story. It's tonight on KXLY4 HD News at 5. She's an amazing woman. Well, killing two birds with one stone is pretty impressive, right? How about bagging two deer with just one shot? That's the story for James Jimbo Lenderman. He was out hunting when he came across a pair of bucks whose antlers just happened to be stuck together. One deer was dragging around the other with a broken back. Jimbo says he plans on having the pair mounted just like he found them. Tryouts for the show are Saturday, December 13th at the food court in Northtown Mall. They run on, from noon until 4. So I, would, I think this would be interesting to go yeah. watch. I mean, just a bunch of naughty kids <laughs> running around the food court, right? I'm imagining how this tryout would go because obviously normally when you're during a tryout or you're doing something like an interview you're very professional yeah in this case it almost like you want to you'd want it to be crazy so that you could get picked and that's why i love watching that show because you know sometimes you feel like you've got the naughtiest kids in the world and then you go my kids are not that bad so yeah <laughs> that that should be fun so hopefully we'll follow up on that well it's no secret that models and magazines get a little beauty enhancement with picture editing software but did you know that even Photoshop does <laughs> belly buttons? What? Check out Victoria's Secret model Carolina Kirkova. The picture on the left is not edited, and it shows that her belly button is practically non-existent. It's not very defined. Magically, though, she has one in the edited picture there on the right. 
A Fashion Insider says there's a collection of Photoshop belly buttons to match the 24-year-old model for just about every given pose. When you actually look at that and yeah. you realize that 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 one on the right is photoshopped you realize that it is very defined yeah you could see she's kind of got a bigger curve though too and you could see like it's very distinct in the belly button <laughs> but i mean she's already skinny but they kind of made her curvy you cut all right mark peterson that photoshop is something you absolutely don't need yeah i photoshopped <laughs> this uh, cranberry relish so it looks delicious oh it is all right coming up we're going to talk about how to combine this with a turkey